everyone and welcome back to our Take On Cruise. My name is Shannon McKee with Axis Cruise and as always I have with me Roger Blum with Cruise and Port Advisors and Shannon gave me props because it's a bad new idea. year. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. Let me put my props on. Exactly. Never give Roger toys before we film. Here we go. And I'm, I've got my lays on, i got my party hat on, and I am all ready to go. I've already been laid twice. Yes, and thank goodness Marie is here. So, I didn't have to do it. <laughs> you did it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, it's 2023. It's a new year. We are back in Shannon's Hood, Coconut Grove. It's 85 degrees in the beginning of January. Yeah, that's right. It is beautiful out here. We do have an iguana that looks like he may be coming over and enjoying, uh, may join our video here. I'm kind of keeping my eye on him over here. Yeah, <laughs> so if you hear me scream, you'll know what it is. But anyway, <laughs> it's a new year, 2023. We've put 2020 behind us, 21 oh, behind us, goodness. 22 behind us. This year is the year. This year is the year, and I am so excited. In fact, I dress very floral here today. I was told that yellow, so I have some yellow in my shirt. New shirt, new yellow for a new year. And I am ready for a new year because there are some good things happening. But first of all, it started out pretty cool. Something that I have never heard of in my life. Queen Victoria went to dry dock with a ship full of guests. A full ship in dry dock. Now, I remember in my day... Uh, you would never want to go to dry dock. Dry dock was not mm, anything we kind of looked no. forward to. In my day, I was just kind of happy if we could flush our toilet. But a full <laughs> ship of guests in dry dock in Cadiz, no. Spain. So the world has changed. The world sure. has changed. You know what I thought you were going to say, though? I thought you were going to say New Year and we got to see the Horn Frogs going to the national championship. I know a lot of you may not be football fans, but my horn frogs, who he made fun of. The little bunny food no, food? it's not bunny no. food food, it's like this. Okay, the horn sorry. frogs are going to the national championship. And if they win, I'm gonna sing my horn frog song. If they lose, you better sing it too. <laughs> but they're gonna win. So, so for those of you who've been watching us last year, um, we did a, uh, one of our episodes where I wore my Florida Gator stuff and Shannon wore her horn frog. Purple horn frogs. That's Texas Christian University, TCU. I kind of made fun of them, but I take back anything I did to make fun of them <laughs> because they really are going to the uh, college uh, national championship like game. Like the World Series, the Super Bowl of college football, right? And this is a big deal. For you Americans, college football is, is really really incredible. For those of you who are not American, you need They're to, like, at some what? point in your life, uh, experience a college football game. I so, agree. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But let's talk about what else is going on in the cruise industry, because I was looking and there are 20 new ships that are coming on the high seas again in 2023. Yep. 2023 is going to be a great year for ships, yeah. um, really exciting ships, including even Icon of the Seas later in the year and uh, just a variety, a variety of, cool of ships. ships. And also we've got Crystal Cruise Lines coming back. That's right. Crystal is coming back. The ships are being refurbished um, under A and K, so that should be exciting. We've got the first um, new building coming out of China that's with a right. joint venture between Carnival Corporation and um, the Chinese shipbuilding. That's so exciting. that's going to be later in the year. From the outside, the ship looks very much like a Carnival Vista class ship, but um, it's going to inside. Who knows? Yeah, and Asia's reopening. China, of course, is still slowly getting back into it, but. China's coming back. Japan is reopened. Japan is back. Australia is, even Disney's going to Australia. That's right. Lots of stuff is happening. And Disney has their ship that they purchased, right, from uh, Genting Cruises, from Dream Cruises. And so we're going to see what they're going to do with that ship. So that's super exciting, too. That's going to be a, a giant. A lot of good stuff happening in 2023. The cruise industry is back. So, besides for you giving me props, what else did you have here? Well, oh! okay, so I wanted to celebrate the new year in the right way. Are you ready? Shannon, you know how to celebrate. That at me, okay, you, you ready? At the camera. At the so camera. Ready? One, this two, is for you guys on the camera. Here we go. Here we go. One, two, three. Happy New Year! Woo! Did your, your city pop? There we go. Yay! Yay! And, oh, that's really spooky. <laughs> and we also have uh, our, our, our sommelier here who's opening up a little bubbly for us to celebrate. That's so, Monier, right. are you going to be on camera? He's don't uh, don't point the cork no, no, at us. No, 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 yeah, you know, you have to like twist the. Cork. You're not in it. Oh, okay, just because twist. I I started as a bar waiter, so she thinks I am a professional at this. You are a professional. Here, here comes the iguana. Oh, we have a second iguana coming in here to we join go. in on our festivities. There we go. And a little bit more here. No, nope, that's perfect. And if you hold that. You can right. have the cork 
And look at this, peace and joy. Mine's what is yours say? Merry and bright. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Year, Happy everybody. New Year. See you soon. See you soon. Bye. Bye.